All right, my YouTubers. Uh, after it took approximately a week, but I finally got my uh, spark plugs in now for my 06 Chevy Silverado, the first gen, last of the Vortec, that first gen 2006 here, 5.3 liter V8. These are not originally the numbers that were in uh, this truck, but it's been superseded now with the 41 110. These are radium, and those were original, were radium original in the truck, so I've replaced them. They call them the AC Delco Professional. Uh, now, yeah, even though these are supposed to have the gaps preset, always get out and check your settings. And uh, let me just show you this. If you're not familiar, you can get to one of these. Uh, this is just one that came from Walmart. But I'm going to be careful of the tip, but I'm just gradually going to move this around and see and since it should be at 0 .040 when I get to that it should snug up and it did it stopped right there at 0 .040 so and that's what these are supposed to be set at and uh, go ahead and test all of them even though they're supposed to be preset now if you did have to make an adjustment I've actually got this here but this opening here is really meant for you to be able to get in there and leverage to spread that a little bit or you could just push this and I did have two or three of them that I had to make slight adjustments where I pushed in a little bit but again they should just snug over to your setting and, and stop at that point and it does there's resistance at that point so it's exactly a point oh four oh and all of them are set so now they're ready to be installed so my next step will be go out and install these uh, and um, so I'll capture that for you too Alrighty, hopefully this is helpful. Okay, I'm out here now getting ready to install the plugs. And uh, so, like I said uh, in an earlier video, if at all possible, try to start these by hand first. You can, it's easy to cross thread these plugs. So I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna try to reach in here and I'm in and I'm gonna try to just get it started by hand first and uh, and I'll come back after I get it started there you go now I've got one going and I'm going to repeat this process now this is 11 foot pounds so torque these 11 foot pounds there's one in I don't know if you can see it down here uh, I've got one started now. Now I'm gonna put a little bit of dielectric grease here on the end of this plug too, and I'll plug it on. But I'm gonna do that process. Now here's my torque wrench. Like I told you in the earlier video, that very first one way back in the back, you're gonna need a swivel socket or something to get back in there. But I'm gonna come forward with then a small extension and I'm gonna torque them to 11 foot, foot pounds. So on both sides, and that's all it is to finishing the installation of these spark plugs at 06 Chevy here. All right, hopefully this has been helpful for you. All right, so you can see I've got just my extension and, uh, and my torque wrench, and we're gonna hear this. I've set it for 11 foot-pounds, so listen. There it is. Not very much, but she's in there. And I'm gonna pull that off, so here you go. We've got a little short extension. And uh, like I said, that first one back here, you're gonna need a swivel socket. And the spark plugs on these is just a 5 8 inch. That's a 5 8 inch socket. I'm gonna move up to the next and I'm gonna keep doing that all the way around. Like I said, I'll put dielectric grease also in the ends of those and plug them up and we're good to go. All right, now I'm over here on the passenger side. Now remember the orientation of the plugs goes differently over here. It'll go back in set so again i'm going to use my hand i've already worked that back one with a swivel but like i said i always try to hand thread these first to keep from stripping anything cross thread then all so i'm down here threading one in with my hand got it started and i'll go as far as i can All right, 
That's it. Now, repeating the process. Just moving up the block. Being easy to set them in place and you start the threading. Now, before you put these in, you can take some air pressure before, well, actually while you have the old ones, and blow this thing out if you need to clean it up. You don't want to introduce anything into the engine. Any dirt and debris, so. All right, now I'm hand threading that. And I've learned the hard way how you can cross thread these so easy. People get a wrench and start with a wrench and then they cross thread it. Then you got a bigger issue. So I'll just do it by hand first. All right. Now I'll stop and come back and show you. And I'm just gonna walk back now with my torque and go back to where I started hand threading that. And I'm gonna fit my torque wrench in here and get on there. And I'm gonna get my torque setting to 11 foot pounds. So set that on there, get your torque wrench and torque it. And it ain't very much. So let's do this one so you can catch it on camera. Slowly. You'll feel the tension. And there it is. There's your click. That's 11. No, it don't take a lot once it tightens down. One more turn and it's pretty much approximately about a quarter turn, you're done. All right, so that's it. Okay, so I put dielectric grease on there and I've got all four of the wires on now. And make sure now when you put them back on, you push on in, you should hear them snap in place. Just as we took them off, you'll hear a snap as they go back in. So that side is done. We're over on the pasture side. We're gonna go do the driver's side and this job is complete. All right, guys, I got the spark plugs in, so I went ahead and started the engine up now. There's no codes or anything, no lights other than my brake. So, let's go around. We got the, uh, now we're, we're pulling in that uh, coolant fluid, too, from that, that coolant plug video I did. You can see over there, I had that filled, so it's gradually now taking some of that in. And uh, let me open this and let the, let the air bubbles come out. And we'll watch this for a bit as it warms up. Otherwise, running smooth, that's why that thing is. Now, we've done a pretty good complete service of this. So if you watched all the videos, you know, 06 Silverado. And the uh, last thing I'm going to do now is rack and tune in suspension. Otherwise, all this is done. All right? There's more to come.